Hello everyone, my name is Tom, and this is Tom's Wrestling Collection. Today we're going to do an unboxing video of all the big rubber guys I've gotten in recently. It's going to be six total. Without any further ado, let's get right down to business. We got the New York Comic Con exclusive Sergeant Slaughter in. This is a repaint of the original. I never did get the original yet, at least not yet. I'll probably pick it up on eBay eventually, or maybe I'll find it at a toy show, but... Uh, this demolition and the Andre blue strap, I believe are the only ones right now that I'm missing uh, everything else I've got pre-ordered or it hasn't been up for sale yet. But anyway, so we're going to start with Sarge here. Give you a look at some of the packaging here. It gives you a, a nice little rundown of all the figures. It doesn't have all the variants on there, but at least one representation of every figure they've had. Plus some of the, like you see the Macho King on there and he's got a, some other, it's a different mold I suppose for the Macho Man that they show there. Anyway, um, and then the front of it, you see the, the Big Rubber Guys logo there and the Sergeant Slaughter. And the, uh, right on the top there, one of 1,000 New York Comic Con sticker. Pretty neat. So, let's get down to business here. These are nice too if... if you haven't gotten any of the any of the big rubber guys yet. The packaging you can kind of just slide it in and out, so you can you can almost reseal it. Let's take a look here. Sarge comes with the hat on here. Does not come off, and some sunglasses that do come off. So we're gonna put those right on them right away. Get him to stay there. There we go. Sarge, he's got the whistle. Cobra core written on his pants there, on his trunks. You can see the red, white, and blue stripes on the back of his of his shirt there. He's got the whistle. Almost lost the glasses there. And the hat. And he's saluting. The nice, nice display figure. I don't think if I was a little kid, I'd love it so much trying to play with this guy, but that's not really what these are for now, anyway. So that's the first one underway. Then I've got the the wrestling collector shop exclusive Nature Boy Ric Flair in the red trunks. You can see again the big rubber guy logo, Nature Boy himself there. And then, again, very similar here. The packaging giving you a rundown of all the guys here up to that point. This one's still got the Major Bendy's logo. Moving forward, the guys will have uh, Collect Major, I believe, on it. Or maybe it's just Major that'll be uh, on the logo. Change the name of the company from Major Bendy's to, to Major. So let's get down to business here. This is the same mold as the Bloody Ric Flair uh, that's already been released. But obviously without the blood, I mean, it's it's a nice figure. It's, it's a pretty good likeness. It's got some crazy eyes for the Nature Boy there, but Nature Boy's got some crazy eyes sometimes. What are you going to do? Looks like he's given the big woo. These are my favorite figures since the, the original LJN, since I was a little kid. These are so nice. They display so well. Again, I don't know if I'd love them the same way if I was a little kid, but at this point, I just display the figures anyway. But yeah, that, I love this figure too. The long blonde hair, the crazy eyes. Ric Flair in his prime when he's, he's ripped still. Mid-80s Flair in all his glory. This one I picked up. It's one of the one of the earlier versions. This is the the Marty Janetti. I got this at the Kane County Toy Show. Um, this one has, I mean, similar packaging once again on the front there. Just a picture of Party Marty, and then it's got the original uh, six or seven guys here. So you're looking at Demolition, the Major Brothers, uh, Matt and Brian. The original Sarge, Marty himself, and then the original Flair mold there, given the given the interview. 
don't think I noticed this when I bought it, but it's got a little bend in the card, but it's just Marty, so I'm not going to be too upset about it. This, this figure actually surprised me when it came out, that it was just Marty Jannetty. Uh, clearly the, the Marty Jannetty of the Rockers. Um, but it's a nice figure for the most part. Pretty good likeness of him. Classic LJN pose there. The tights are nice. They've got, you know, a bunch of, bunch of hits here, a lot of color on them. You see the, the bandanas, the rags around the arms here. Hanging down off of the trunks, the zebra print on the boots. A nice little figure. Now we're on to the, the newest wave. The American Dream Dusty Roads. Let's see. This one still has, I think the Big Rubber Guys logo. Does it have the Collect Major yet? Major Bendy still. Oh, well. You can see on here another... Another rundown of some of the characters that they've had. And in the front again, Big Dust himself. And you can see right through the pa packaging, it's, the birthmark is perfect. We'll take a look at the, the big green elbow pad all the way through here already. Oh yeah, look at the boots on him. The red and white boots. They say Rhodes right down the side there. This might be the best big rubber guy yet. I mean, the, the birthmark is perfect. He's even got some fat up along by Dusty's neck here. <laughs> this is a nice figure. This is real nice. Fingers taped up. I said the green elbow pad. He drops the bionic elbow on the nature boy. Now we've got the Warlord. Pretty much the exact same packaging as Dusty on the back there. Warlord picture on the front. I'm going to like these, and, and they're not even my favorites. I can't wait to see the Road Warriors live. The Road Warriors have already two different pre-orders out. Two completely different Big Rubber Guy characters. That's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for those. But in the meantime, yeah, this is nice. Look at the different color hair there. From when you go with kind of the orangish there and the black. The face paint completely on point. Even the trunks here. If look, it says W E R of pain. His trunks. They couldn't find apparently one time where the trunks were where the tights were low enough to see the entire powers of pain so they did it right to form which is awesome they covered up the p and the o just like he'd have had it in real life and then he's got the warlord that you can see completely all the way down there the armbands i mean he's just absolutely jacked like he was in real life I mean, he's still a big dude in real life and then last we have the Barbarian. You can see the picture on the front. There. Little artwork there. Again, same packaging as on the back of the Warlord and Nature Boy there. Coming out of here. Alright, so I'm looking through and it's got the exact same thing on the side there where it's just the the WER of pain. But the barbarian reads all the way down. Even a little bend in the in the writing itself so that it doesn't go just straight down. Much you know, very similar to how it would be in real life. It's got the kind of mohawk going on there. And then the face paint again. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous figure here. He is absolutely ripped, just like the Warlord. If these guys weren't such giant ripoffs of the Road Warriors, I'd have probably been bigger fans. But, I mean, right down to the haircuts and the face paint. But, man, these are beautiful figures. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in one more time. As always, like, comment, subscribe. 
hit the button, share it out. I appreciate it, everyone. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Don't forget your big rubber guys. I think right now you can order the, the Rock and Roll Express and Bad News Allen. Take care.